Hi, how are you? Hi, Javier. I'm Stuart Fowle. I work for the communications department in Global Connected Consumer at General Motors. That's the group that oversees OnStar and all of our infotainment development. So all the, the technology that adds on to the great things that are in the car already, right? Exactly. Everything you see and interact with here as well as the connection coming into the vehicle. We're indoors now. We are indoors. <laughs> in the car. And uh, we're gonna, because the purpose of this demonstration is not driving actually today, huh? rare for a car. It is rare for a car, but the purpose today is to show off some of the things everyone else can do when they're riding in a car. Okay, so what is it? So OnStar with 4G LTE, it's our new generation of OnStar hardware. And what it adds is a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot within the vehicle. So this 2015 Buick Regal is one of more than 30 models that'll get it this year. Um, it allows you to pair up to seven devices like this tablet straight to your car. Uh, you can have all of your kids in the back seat watching videos. And, all and all of them having their own little thing going their own little thing. <laughs> so this is on top of all the other uh, features in the car for communicating like OnStar, yep. um, so it's telephone and all that. That's on top of it. This internet connectivity. Exactly. exactly. So OnStar has been around for about 18 years. This is our 10th version of the hardware for OnStar. So you still get all of the safety and security services pressing the buttons yeah. up here. Uh, but uh, but because of this stronger 4G LTE connection, we can do more with the connection now. And that includes this Wi-Fi hotspot. It also includes before with OnStar, if you asked for a navigation destination, yeah. the advisor would say, okay, please hold for a second we'll send those directions to your car I've you hear that, a series yeah. of beeps and then they come back uh -huh. and make sure you're okay with 4g lte we now have simultaneous voice and data so what that means is the the advisor can continue to talk to you while they're sending that data to your car so they can that makes for a more seamless phone call they can ask you okay do you see that the navigation is, oh, okay. is showing up in your so, car like, and they yeah. never have to leave the call so once they're starting the process you can you can see and interact with the, with yep, the person so the Talk call to... doesn't start and then stop and then start again it's just one more, quicker more normal easier communication. Call. Yeah, just That's like great. on your phone if you're looking at the internet and talking to someone at the same time okay same idea so can we see how, how it works yeah so if a, if a owner gets in the car for the first time they need to know their username and password for the Wi-Fi just like you would at, at, home. at home exactly yeah. yeah and once you set it it's already it remembers it. yeah so all of the cars leave the factory with the Wi-Fi hotspot turned on so all you need to do is connect to it so that's what we'll do now and yes exactly once I pair it to this tablet one it'll always be on unless I forget it so I'll on press the on star button here and then I see a vehicle owner's manual on how to access and then I see a, a Wi-Fi settings menu, menu. On star ready Wi-Fi settings. Please see the owner's manual. For and that'll show me the SSID, the username, as yep. well as the password. So if I go on my tablet here, and pull up settings. I've already paired this one, but you'll see the same hotspot here, and I'm connected. And I can go into Chrome, and I'm on the, the Samo website. Or I could go to YouTube and look up videos of, of people driving some, some wow. Corvettes. And you can pair up to seven devices at a time, so obviously... Well, as you, you can, can see, I mean, the speed, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, like, really what you expect in any other uh, internet connection, right? Yeah, so 4G LTE is the strongest wireless connection out there. Uh, we're partnered with AT&T on it. They have a, a very powerful network throughout the whole country. And just last week, we announced the pricing for this, so data packages in the car will start at five dollars a month and go up five dollars that's yep. cheap so i want the one for my house <laughs> <laughs> for, as, for as low as five dollars a month you can have this connectivity in your car all the time if you just need it in a pinch or if you plan on using it all the time we see a lot of different use cases for it a, a traveling salesman you know yeah. you go to a, a hotel and it's 13 dollars a night for the wi-fi you could just go out to your car in the in the parking lot get your work done and and head back inside or a construction worker with a pickup truck it's about a 50 foot range around the car that the wi-fi oh, really? works 50. so so i mean i know that that connectivity it depends on like structure like for here for example here or we inside the building so that might affect it so yeah, like I mean, you're you 50, it's still working yeah pretty no strong. exactly very strong but it's like say 50 feet like so if you park it next to your window and you're like in a in a hotel or a restaurant you can still yep. probably can get it depends on the situation yep right? and it's on as long as the car is at least in accessory mode 
the oh, engine okay. doesn't need to be running, but you do need the power on. But yeah, if my 50 feet were through that concrete wall there, it might be reduced no, a course, little bit. Yeah. Or if I were parked up on a hill, it might be a little bit better. So. So you say this is gonna this is gonna be available up to 30 models already. Yep, a lot of Chevrolets, Buicks, GMCs, Cadillacs. Um, nearly all of our cars, and in most cases, it'll be standard equipment. So you don't need to to check a box and add wow. an extra cost. The the hardware is there. You just need to to pay for the data after a three month or a three gigabyte trial period. Amazing. So what's next? <laughs> Cars are getting like so so smart. It's true. And what we really think of this 4G LTE connection is that it's a pl a platform for the future uh, to add new things. So yeah. uh, think about the early smartphones. People thought, why do I need an internet connection on my phone? And now I don't know about you, but I couldn't live without oh, my smartphone. Oh, absolutely. No, yeah. So you need it for everything. Now that we've put this connection into the car. It's like the beginning of smartphones. We don't know exactly what we'll come yeah, up with and what we're working with a lot of outside developers to come up with things as well. So we don't know where it'll go from here. We have some ideas and we look forward to sharing <laughs> yeah. them with you in the next couple of years. Those two are like really impressive technology. I mean, it's, it's incredible how cars have changed uh, in the past five years. I mean, the car is like 130 years old, more or less, the industry. <laughs> Uh, yep, in the Buick, past, in, Buick in particular here, 111 years exactly. now. Exactly. And now in the past, let's say five years, even less, I mean, it, the advancement on these things are incredible. Ex yeah, it's true. Things are moving really fast now. A couple of years ago, all you'd really want to stay connected is a, a USB plug maybe <laughs> in your car. <laughs> to recharge the battery. Exactly. Now we have 4G LTE. We have a lot of different features coming out of these touch screens and almost every car has a touch screen now. So this Wi-Fi hotspot is for seven people it's or seven up, devices up to, up to seven devices at we a couldn't time. fit seven people so you need two at night I, i'll hold two phones <laughs> in my hands and try it out excellent so i can't wait to try it outside uh one of these yeah days. we'll go for a drive really soon thank you very much thanks Bye.